For the ruffles, put a stitch marker on the 11th row or sukatin nyo yung top, it is on your upper bust near your underarm. And another stitch marker here, this is where the ruffle should end. And another stitch marker here, this is on the 5th row or 2.5 inches from this yellow-green stitch marker. This is where your V-stitches should end. Now let us start the ruffles. Grab your yarn, make a slip knot, chain 2, then we will crochet a V stitch. For V stitch, work one double crochet into the same stitch of your two chains. Chain 1, then double crochet into the same stitch. This is our first V stitch. Now work two V stitches into the next stitch. Repeat the pattern of one V stitch into the next stitch then 2 V stitches into the next one until you reach this last stitch. When you reach the row, work 2 V-stitches into the first row. And another 2 V-stitches into the next row. Then repeat the pattern of two V stitches into each row. Until you reach this orange stitch marker. Now chain 2 and turn your work. Then work this stitch into the chain space.
and into each of the chain space all the way across. Chain 2, then turn when you reach the end. Repeat the pattern of one V-stitch into each of the chain space until you have a total of 5 rows. I'm done and I have a total of 5 rows. Now slip a stitch into this stitch marker. Then chain 1. Cut your yarn. Make sure that the yarn tail is long because we will use it to sew the ruffles. Grab your needle. Then we will sew this part. Make sure you sew on the back of your straps. Repeat the pattern into the other side of the strap, but we will start from here at the back, then we will end right here on the front. We are almost done. Now, we will sew this part. Let us measure it first. It should be 2.5 inches from here. Then sew the ruffles. Do the same to the other side and we are done. What a wonderful world.